Hey guys, it's me Howie and I'm here on my fourth week of residency in nursing and things are weird. <laughs> I've gotten used to the you know the, the ward now and I know where all the supplies are, but I still have a little bit of trouble juggling two to three patients. My preceptor is amazing, but she is very strict and she thinks that my charting isn't exactly up to her standards yet, although it is getting there. But man, she never lets anything slip and I feel like I'm starting to feel a little bit discouraged because I feel like I'm doing my best, but when something happens and then there's an emergency on the unit, I have to drop everything and go back straight to that one patient. And then I forget the other two patients. And so I'm still having a little bit of trouble juggling everything, but hopefully it'll all come in time, but we'll see. talk about exactly what my classmates are doing to get ready for the NCLEX and also if any of us are going to come back to finish our master's degree. As you know, this is actually a nurse practitioner program, and but all my classmates have degrees in something else. And we got accepted into this program on the feeling that we would finish our master's in nursing. But you can't get a master's in nursing without a bachelor's in nursing. So now we're finishing up our RN, BSN within about a year and a half to two years and then after that we'll go back and finish the rest of the program to get our masters. However, we're exhausted and some of the times uh, some of my friends have decided that they're going to be nurses for about a year, maybe two years, but our faculty advises us against that because they're worried that we'll be too comfortable being RNs and there's a lot of truth to that. After two years of non-stop studying and um, tests every week, we're exhausted and if we're going to be doing the MSN portion of the program while we're still working as RNs, that's going to be two to three more years of hard work and I think it's time that we just relax and make some money and you know hold off our studies for a while. But I'm starting to feel like the world needs more nurse practitioners and maybe they, I don't know, maybe they want more acute care nurse practitioners, but they also may need a lot more psychiatric nurse practitioners. And maybe it's my duty to go back to school and finish up my master's degree in nursing to become a nurse practitioner and do something like that. I want to be able to make money and being a nurse practitioner will give me that lifestyle, but I also want to be able to have a job where I feel like I'm doing something in this world. Like whatever I do, somehow matters and it's not just about making money because that's miserable I don't know about you guys but if I don't feel like I'm making a difference in my job then I feel like I'm just working for pay and then I just spend that on something or someone or on a, an event or a vacation and the vacation is great but if I spend it on material things I just feel like I'm just wasting my life and so I want to be able to do something about it and I think it's time that as difficult as it may feel, that I should continue on, get my BSN, and then finish up my master's degree as a nurse practitioner, and figure it out from there. Uh, another thing, so I also want to talk about what we're planning to do to be able to pass the test. So in between my 12-hour shifts of working for free as an intern in the military hospital, I'm also using my vacation days, like these days when I'm off, to study hard. And right now, I've gotten a lot of advice to take the Kaplan, uh, QBank tests, and also UWorld, but that costs some money. And then we also have uh, the Saunders uh, NCLEX review. So I'm looking at a, lot, at a lot of things, but I'm trying not to reread everything that I've seen or heard or studied before. I'm just taking test after test after test and then I'm going back as painful as it may feel but to go back to look at all my questions and to see what I got wrong and then just learn and fill up the knowledge gap on those specific areas like I know I know pharmacy and pharmacology is difficult even with as much medical experience as I have I have over 15 years of medical experience but not as an RN and a lot of these medications I'm familiar with, but
but I'm not familiar with teaching, uh, patient teaching, and how you know how an RN is supposed to word things so that the patients are clear on the directions for medication. So there's a lot of studying that I'm doing for that, and I also have trouble with safety, uh, uh, infection, and isolation precautions that department, as well as uh, physiological and psychological integrity uh, of the uh, NCLEX subjects that I'm trying to uh, uh, learn more about. Uh, those are the topics that I'm weakest at, and so those are the topics that I'm studying first and foremost. And I'm also remediating to see exactly, again, what questions I've done wrong, and then I try to learn from those questions, and then I retake that test over and over. And in time, I'm hoping that uh, I will be prepared for the NCLEX. Uh, we're hope right now, my teachers are expecting us to score above 60% because these, uh, these test questions are, are fairly difficult. In fact, they're more difficult than the actual test, and there's a reason for that. They want us to test to be above a certain line, and so that when we do take the NCLEX, it will feel easier for us and it'll give us a psychological edge. So, unfortunately right now I'm just scoring a 56, 58 percent and I'm, I'm not, I'm, a couple of times I'll hit 80, but I'm not consistently above 60 percent each and every time I've taken the Kaplan question trainers or, uh, or taking tests on subjects with questions that I know are particularly difficult for me. Because there's ways where you can choose a particular test that's not very easy for you. And I can't get better if I don't focus on my weaknesses. The other side of that coin is, is that it's terrible that if you're not good at tests and you keep taking it over and over, you'll get discouraged really quickly. I mean, I feel like I'm not that type of person to give up so easily, but I, I need a little bit of encouragement, you know? I'm just human. So I'm hoping that all these things where I'm, I'm learning hands-on, but I'm also testing during my days off, testing myself, and then trying to fill my knowledge gap. I'm hoping that these two experiences will get me ready to take the NCLEX and so I can get my BSN, so I can start my master's in nursing and become a nurse practitioner. All right, so this is what I've got going so far, and I hope you have any questions for me that you comment below and subscribe and keep following me, and I hope uh, I can learn more about your adventures as well. And whatever I learn, I'll, I'll send over to you, and hopefully we can learn from each other. Okay, this is Nurse Howie signing off, and I'll see you next time.